Does your setup kinda suck? Do you wonder what those fancy schmancy hobby YouTubers have in their studios? Well, you are in luck, because today I'm gonna show you my fine-tuned painting workspace and share with you information that you can use for your own setup. So the first thing that you might notice when you enter my studio is that there is this black acoustic foam basically all over the place. There is some on each wall. There is even some on the ceiling, but hopefully that's not visible in most of my videos anyway. And even though it's not pretty, it at least makes the studio feel more professional, I suppose. But most importantly, it improves audio quality significantly. I know for a fact that if this acoustic foam wasn't here, it would absolutely kill your ears with reverb. For example, you can go to my way, way older uploads and compare it with my newer videos and that's night and day difference. Now I'll go through every section of my studio, starting with this corner right here. The most important thing in this section is of course, this beautiful whiteboard. This whiteboard is absolutely essential for my work. Clearly, as you can see, this is very important. You should absolutely Google it. On a serious note, this is absolutely essential for my job because I can note down anything I want in here, like upcoming projects, structure of my projects, general workflow, my goals, all that good stuff. Furthermore, I like it for two more reasons. Uh, the first one is that I can wipe anything and uh, adjust it as I need, right? And the other one is that I see this whiteboard from whichever spot I am currently at in my studio. So definitely great stuff, not even that expensive and super useful for like structuring of everything. Right next to my whiteboard is this shelving system from IKEA, which is absolutely fantastic as it is. Now I have to mention that these separate glass units are sold separately. So I had to buy 10 of these and it cost just as much as the shelf itself. So it was quite expensive, but as it is right now, I really like it. So it serves the purpose of displaying my miniatures. Then I have my pile of potential in here, some gaming stuff, and of course my record and streaming gear. Oh, and I also started streaming, by the way. Follow me there. Now, one complaint I have when it comes to display section of these shelves is that there is no easy way to install lights. So what I did is use this LED light strip, which is definitely not optimal. I might have to change this solution in the future, but for now it's enough. And right next to that are these drawers where I store all kinds of hobby stuff. So for example, here are my basing supplies, or at least some of them. Then some gaming supplies like Marble Crisis Protocol stuff, uh, some data cards, which are from, I guess, eighth edition. And of course, some more unused sprues and plastic. This is the last section of this side of the studio. So what we have here is a table where I have my old painting lamp. Then there is some background for recording the showcase of the miniatures as well as taking a photo. And basically whenever I am recording my videos and I have a bunch of gear all over the place, I can put something that I am not using right here and uh, that's the entire purpose of this table, I guess. If I hire someone in the future, I can put that person right here, but otherwise I have no clue what to do with this particular table. I might put here like an airbrush booth because I have this lamp right here already, so that might be another use, but we'll see. Now on the other side of the studio, we have all of this. Starting here in the corner, I have three chairs that can be stacked on top of each other. This is great because if I wanna play games with my friends, I have three extra seats and it doesn't take too much space like at all. Right next to that I have these shelves where I have my paint, my airbrush, my paint case that you might remember, as well as some accessories. But essentially anything that is a painting product that is not tied to basing is in this area, which makes sense because it's close to my painting workspace. And moving even further, you might recognize these shelves. There is actually a good reason why you see these shelves in most of my videos. Uh, that's because all of these paint pots are the ones that I use the most. So those are the AK Interactives and Vallejo. So it makes sense for me to have this as close to my actual painting spot as possible. Also, all the way down there is my airbrush and right next to that is my storage solution for bits and conversion pieces. 
This piece of furniture is also from Ikea and I absolutely love it. It's very useful because you can leave your laptop right here and record audio on it. But right now you cannot see it here because it's on my table. The best feature of this thing is that it's movable. So it's on wheels. And that means that I can just put a bunch of paints in here and other hobby supplies that I use the most like baking paper, hobby gloves and stuff like that. And if I need all of those things, I can just pull it towards me without getting up. And and all of the hobby tools are immediately accessible. Before moving further, a quick word from our sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community dedicated to improve your creative and business skills. Have you ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, sell products online, or grow your social media? Well, Skillshare has classes that'll help you with all of these. For example, look at this fantastic class by Enrico Luzzi, and look at the way he's able to transform his recording space. This. Uh, Incredible. I know for a better. fact that there are many talented people that could turn their hobbies into something more, but maybe they didn't have the tools to do it. But Skillshare provides you with the right knowledge, so now is the time to do that thing you always wanted to do. By joining Skillshare, you get unlimited access to all classes, and the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get one month of Skillshare for free. So try it yourself. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's talk about this recording wall, which you can see in most of my newer videos. These hexagon thingies are quite expensive, to be honest, but I think that they are worth it because they are nice. But their actual purpose is that they are another form of acoustic foam. I could definitely use different kind of acoustic foam to fill the wall, but I just think that this looks way cooler. This is also from Ikea. Obviously not uh, all of it, but most of these uh, attachments are. Although this thing that holds my brushes, this brush holder is from Hobby Zone and not from Ikea. So I had to essentially drill holes inside and mount it on that. But other than that, all of these hooks and stuff that holds my tool is from Ikea so yeah it's it's really fantastic this space right here might be the most important or second most important space in this studio because I do all of the editing right here. I have two computer screens because it's more convenient to edit like that. Right here is my printer and right under that are some cables and some stuff that I don't use as often. Now, if you have already seen my height adjustable table in one of my videos, I bet that you haven't seen this one because I think that I didn't show it anywhere. But basically this one is height adjustable as well, which is really cool because during my long editing sessions, I can uh, edit standing up, which is definitely more healthy, I assume. And there we go. So like this, I can edit standing up, I can paint standing up, as you'll see in a minute or two. So that means that even though my job is mostly sedentary, I get to stretch my legs for a little bit. I'm not sure if this is like a must have if you are a full time hobby YouTuber or, or you have sedentary job for the most part, but I think that it will pay dividends later on, or I, I hope so, it was really expensive. And yet again, you can see that the acoustic foam is even on this side of the room. By the way, this acoustic foam that is in the corner is called bass trap, and it's in every corner of this room, and it's supposed to capture vibrations at lower frequencies. And honestly, I have no clue if it works or not, if it does anything special. Uh, maybe just a regular ass acoustic foam would do the trick if I stuck it in there, but we'll never know. Moving to the middle of the room, you can see this giant construct that is called a C stand. So essentially, whenever I am streaming or recording now, I can just mount my camera uh, right here. And I think that it's somewhat stable. By the way, I started streaming. Have I mentioned that? It might not look like it because it's a bit wobbly, but believe me, it's very stable and definitely better than my previous solution that I'll show you a bit later. Then what I got are two of these lamps, which are fantastic because they can be charged from the plug or they can use batteries. Not only do these lights have amazing performance when it comes to light intensity and light temperature, which you can adjust by the way, but also they have very good color rendering, which means that whenever I am recording my miniatures with these lights, you see the color of the miniature 
the same way I see it in real life, or at least very close. They also have multiple modes, so whatever you see in my videos that my face is lit with magenta, it's not a neon sign, it's this light. So before talking about the table in the middle of my studio, I want to talk about this one. This is fantastic because it's movable as well, and that is useful especially for two purposes. The first one is that during the video production process, whenever I am not using a particular piece of gear, I just put it here and push it aside. And that way I am not blocking any of my recording space, which is of course awesome. And if you are wondering what is this particular piece of gear, that is a slider for my camera. So I can just mount my camera right here, use this control and get some really cool shots for my videos. But honestly, it's even more useful as a side table for gaming. And that's especially true for my most favorite tabletop game, which is... Yeah, it's f***ing Kingdom Death, and you nerds thought it's Warhammer, right? Well, suck on these! That's Lion Testes. I'll see myself out. And most certainly the crown jewel of this entire set is this height adjustable table in the middle of the studio. I absolutely love it. It provides enough space for gaming, for hobbying, for painting, for streaming, for anything. As you can see, I was using this adjustable arm where you can mount camera right here. I'm not gonna really do that right now because I am... Uh, filming, you know. But this particular arm is definitely not as stable as the C-stand right there. So I am not necessarily using it anymore, but what I am using is this arm uh, where I mount my microphone so I don't have to hold it like this. And of course I can mount all of these, be it the camera arm or the microphone arm or the lamp on any side of the table. So if I need to move this stuff because maybe I have a painting partner or, or anything like that, I can just move it to the other side of the table and the lamp will still reach my painting spot. And of course, as I mentioned, it's height adjustable. So yeah, what else can you want? Basically, it means I can paint standing up, I can stream standing up, I can do anything standing up. Again, it was quite expensive when you combine all of these things, but I think that my studio as it is right now is super convenient. I can reach anything I want in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, it's fantastic. And with that, I wanna thank you guys for your continuous support. I really appreciate it. I mean, this wouldn't be possible without you. But you could have noticed that I didn't really talk about those little tools that I use for miniature painting. And of course, that is because I talk about that in a different video. And actually, if you wanna know what kind of hobby tools to get to improve, uh, there is the video for you. So check it out and see you there.